be surprised how many people freak out though. My name is Adam Pearson. I am a food stylist. Um, I guess I should explain that. So I make food for television or commercials or movies or magazines, catalogs, cookbooks. Like anybody who needs a photo of food, they need someone to make the food so the photographer can shoot it, so that's where I come in. I would say it's pretty cutthroat. Um, it's like they tore off the tarps and like the spraying everything with water. Like, why do you need to wash the roof? Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, no. the eclipse. Working as much as we do isn't super sustainable, like the energy wise. Um, but hurry the f up. My partner is a food photographer, and we started a business together. We became legit in 2010. When we first started, we had nothing. But it is our entire life. Everything we do is around this. We're remodeling our kitchen at our house. But we're thinking like, how can we photograph in here? Like, what color would look best in front of the camera? Like, where is the natural light going to be? Everything we do is, is work-related. And it can be a little daunting, you know? So, like, we'll have to schedule time to like specifically not work so we don't burn ourselves out. What's that? Today, now is not the time to have this conversation. Yeah. That's what happens when this guy's oh. Yeah. I know, that's why I was like, is this some salt? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know what this stuff is. It's like roofing material. Look at all the from the ceiling fell all over, all the everywhere. All over my food. Are you able to save stuff? Yeah, I was able to save it. It's not, none of it's edible anymore. That we can't eat. This is not edible because it's all over. But I was able to get it off. Crisis averted. We were here shooting one day and Matt had extended a C stand all the way as high as it could go to hold something. And he turned around and he was doing something and then he turned back and it fell over and it clocked him on the head and it split his like, maybe like an inch and a half. Yeah. Split and just blood. It was insane. Um, when you're working with someone who's a smaller company, I feel like um, they rely on my experience more to guide the situation. Um, and you can't go wrong with that um, because I like to have a good time and I like to work efficiently and make pretty food. And it's been really great because I feel like we're all very similar, um, you know, creative people and um, a little weird and a little different. And it's a, it's a great little group to be in. I feel like food is like the great uniter. It brings people together. Um, good times, bad times, whatever. Adam, you're fired. I've never worked with you again. I feel so lucky that I get to have this as a career. Um, people are often passionate about food and I just think that's so inspiring and uh, and it's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. Thank you.